salvation and our hope is anchored in your name the name of jesus oh what a statement to begin our day with see it again oh we trust the name of jesus relentlessly with his love. It doesn't matter what you're going through today, what's been hard and heavy on your heart. His presence is always there, tearing through the atmosphere, whatever's clouding our judgment in our minds. God is there with love. Let's celebrate in church. Before I call, before I ever cry, you answer me from where the thunder hides. Can I run this heart I'm tethered to? At every step, I collide with you and your love. Here we go. Like a tidal wave crashing over me, rushing in. over me 
He pursues us with his love and his grace. There is nothing else that can be victorious over us. We cannot be defeated because we have the name of Jesus. No sin can bind us. Let us celebrate being his church. You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies till all my fears are gone. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. From my Chosen me. things for your glory. Lord, I don't want some of those truths to pass us by today. Truths like we want to make you, we lift you higher. Well, God, we know that in, in, in the span of this universe and creation, as far as your glory is concerned, it, it is already, it is already massive. It, it cannot be any greater, Lord God, but in our lives it can be. In our lives, we can exude, Lord God, this praise, this life of gratitude and worship to you that glorifies you. So God, we come before you today. 
to receive from your word, Lord God, and to come before you open-hearted that, Lord, we would learn how to lift you higher in our lives. We know that, Lord, this relationship with you, this opportunity that we have, Lord God, this purpose that we have in you of advancing your kingdom here, Lord God, as we pray for one, it all came at a great cost. And it's not a cost that we, we could pay because we've all tried. <laughs> There's nothing we can do to attain you, Lord God, in this relationship with you when your, your, your standard is of perfection. But God, you are perfect. And your son, so beautiful, paid the price for us. Pleasing, Lord God, your will, your judgment. So we can surrender to him, the king of kings and the Lord of lords. We can live a life of thanksgiving, which means a life of worship. to advance your kingdom, to share your love, to raise the banner of Jesus' name, not our own, yours. There's no hope in us, it's only in you. We thank you, Lord God, for the strength each day, the strength each day to not be consumed by the things that, uh, the circumstances around us. We're gonna learn more today, Lord God, about about being tempted and, and your presence in that, and we celebrate that now. We just ask that you teach us a little bit more about that <laughs> and just kindle that joy again, Lord God, in our lives that reminds us that you're not only present, but you are there with love and mercy and grace for us and for those that are around us. Do your good work in us, Lord God. We know that we are a work of your hands. And so, God, we thank you for this time that we have to not only celebrate in song and begin our day with you in this.